Dead cow. Dead cow. That's weird. He's always weird. No, I mean, my premonitions have been about death, about my death. I don't want to hear this. And the thing is, they're all silly. What do you mean, silly? In one, I slip on a banana peel and fall into a giant vat of whipped cream. Silly and fattening. In another, a turtle eats me. A turtle? How? Very slowly. There's lots of chewing. And in your premonition, you didn't run away from what is perhaps the slowest land animal on the earth? His first bite injects me with immobilizing poison. Well, you left that part out. Personal information. State your full name. <laughs> Better not get that one wrong. I'll try. And nickname, if any. That would be Rory. Or Droopy Drawers. That was never my nickname. Wrong. I called you that as a baby. What? That's right. You had these little Oshkosh cords, and they were way too big. And once at the mall, they fell right down to your knees. And I said, whoa, there, droopy drawers. And I'm just afraid if, if we don't answer everything accurately, the Harvard police will come and hit you with an atlas and say something mean in Latin. Kirk asked me out. Shut up. Yesterday, he came to the inn and asked me to dinner. That's so sweet. Sweet? You should wear your dress with the ponies on it. I bet he likes ponies. Rory, I cannot go out with Kirk. Why? <laughs> Why? He, he's Kirk. Well, as long as he loves you. You are not serious. I just want you to be happy. How far is Luke's? It's right over there. It looks far. Yeah, very far. Maybe if we concentrate really hard, our combined psychic powers will move it closer. I don't think it's working. No, yeah, it's my fault. I'm not focusing. Yes, that must be why we can't move a half a city block closer to us. All right, then. Let's go. On the count of three. Have you heard from Dad recently? My dad. What, Dad? Your dad? Yeah, my dad. We're gonna have to move. Okay. Take off in the middle of the night, leave everything behind. Assume different identities. I'll join a local community theater and I'll drive you to soccer. It'll work for many years until the FBI comes to get me and by that time you're on your own. I don't play soccer. You do now. It's such a relief to have that Suki thing fixed. I know, I hate fighting with friends. That's what enemies are for. And God knows we have our share of those. People who eat crunchy food with their mouths open. People who dog ear library books. People who spit when they talk. Oh, gross. You got me in the eye. I did not. You totally did. You're full of it. Did you cut your hair? Well, I just trimmed it. You didn't tell me you were cutting your hair. It was a spur of the moment thing. A spur of the moment? Let's not tell my mother I'm pulling a G.I. Jane. Are we seriously going to have this conversation now during the air raid? What are you doing? Well, I'm updating the refrigerator. Where did you get that? Oh, the nice lady at the police station emailed it to me. I thought it would look really nice next to your kindergarten handprint collage. I got you a copy if you're thinking Christmas cards.